Hey, what's up guys, JK. And I'm just going to bring you guys a nice little tutorial on an effect that I utilized in Infinity's edit. And it is right here. Right there. It was the way the part where like the GBK bars came in from the left side, then the backdrop kind of came smashing in. So, um, yeah, let's um, dive right into this, shall we? Alright. <laughs> that sounded gay. So, um, yeah, what we're going to do is split your clip where it goes into like the game win kill cam. Hold up a second. Okay. Oh, hold up. Alright, there we go. And, um, yeah, so you have your clip. So it goes straight into that GWK like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the GWK like part. And we're going to want to click Shift D, which will duplicate the layer. Shift D, which will duplicate the layer. No, Control Shift D, which will. No. Shift D. Shift D. Shift D. What the heck? No, it's Control D. My bad. I just made myself sound like an idiot. Alright. So we're going to go up to layer. Like, click on the top one. Crap. So click on that top clip. And go up to layer. Time. Freeze frame. So now the layer is freeze. Right. Yeah. And you're going to want to go over five frames. So it's shift page up. Then another little tip for you guys is you can take your clip. And you can hold down shift and it'll just connect up to crap like that so this whole layer is now freezed frozen not freezed my bad then another little tip is you can alt right bracket trim like so alright so these five frames are now frozen and what we want to do is we're going to want to match uh, the mask out where you want the um, like just mask out this part it'll be the same for everyone everyone and we're not going to be masking out a little car in the background we will all be masking out the same thing and obviously I am not taking my time because the last attempt at this and my one before this, it took 10 minutes to get through. So, um, yeah. So, and then we're going to want to control D to duplicate that frozen layer. Then hit M, which is another thing, another shortcut that will bring up the mask. Then we'll go over here, right next to where it says add, shape, and all that stuff. It says inverted, you're going to want to check that off, so that will bring up that stuff. And then what we want to do is we're going to go p shift page down, which goes over five layers. You're going to want to go right here, you see where I'm at, yep. And you're going to want to, on this top one, you're going to want to hit P, which will bring up positioning. Keyframe it right there. Shift page up, which goes to the left, five layers, or five, five frames. And you're going to want to drag it all the way over. And you can go both ways, you can go this way as well. As you can see, and it is really too far off. Alright, right there, that should be good. So now as you see, the layer will come dragging in at lightning speed. So, yep, go back up there. So now that that one's done, you're going to have this one, then you're going to want to type, go, come over here to effects and presets, type in CC lens. Take your CC lens, drag it onto that bottom one, the one that's not moving with the game wing kill cam bars, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hold up a second. The the top layer that has like the GWK bars that are moving have that be like one to three layers before this comes in. It'll look nicer. So my <coughs> click on the one the uh, clip that has the effect CC lens on it. You're gonna wanna bring the convergence to zero. And you're going to want 
to bring the size to 100 then that will make it fit the whole screen well not the whole screen only the part where it's masked off you know what I'm saying then you want to keyframe both of those oh wait crap I was doing it in the wrong spot alright you're gonna want to go five later or five frames over keyframe it at the end like right at the end right before the clip is able to start moving again and uh... Yeah, now you're going to want to go 5 frames back and bring the convergence to 100. I mean, not 100, negative 100. And bring the size to. You can get, leave the size at 100. It'll, it still looks sick, but I'm just going to bring it down to 75 just to show for the tutorial purpose. But yeah, you guys get the gist of it, so yeah, let's run preview this. As you can see in the room preview, it'll come up like so, and you can edit with it, make it look better than I did it, obviously. But let's uh, look at this now. And see, it came in really slow. But I mean, you can you can click U, which will bring up keyframes, move them over. No, it's very previous. But uh, yeah, this is my first ever tutorial. Tell me guys what you thought of it. And uh, yeah. Alright, peace out.